Hey guys, I'm Xander Isaacson. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Zio. And Zio is a tech-enabled EV charging company for commercial and multifamily real estate. Before I get into what we do, let me talk about the industry. Right now, the EV market is blowing up. There's currently only 20 electric vehicle models in the market. There's Tesla, Nissan, you know, the basics of it. Right now, over the next couple of years, there's over 500 vehicles coming out. Every single automaker is pumping billions of dollars into their next car. Even the F-150 is going all electric. So what's the issue? It's the fact that only less than 1% of buildings have charging stations. The market's not ready. So at Zio, there's two things that make a charging station work. The first thing is power. So we first created this technology that allows buildings to add two to three times more charges without upgrading their electrical capacity. So it saves CapEx while allow allowing the electrons to flow into the cars quicker. Now, the second part of charging stations is they're also connected device, similar to anything else in, in your building. And the reason why they need to be connected is because they need to authenticate users and basically transact payments based on how much energy the car consumes. So when we first brought our technology to market two years ago, um, it didn't work. We faced all types of issues. The app was buggy, the charger wouldn't turn on, the environment was down, and everything pointed back to internet connectivity. And when it got really brutal, where drivers were getting stranded, they weren't able to do the things they needed to do because you need internet to turn the charger on, to even let the electrons flow, we realized that we had to solve this. So we looked at the broader industry and said, this couldn't just be an us problem, right? We realized that everybody was facing this issue. It was all across the board. It was the biggest problem, the biggest elephant in the room. So why was nobody talking about this? And it was because they didn't consider this problem as their problem. And the reason they didn't consider it as their problem was because it was the world of IoT. It was someone else's communication. So the world of IoT, it's a terrible acronym. It stands for the Internet of Things. It's sort of like Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. Stick with me for a second. Uh, you know that scene where the kid gets stuck in the pipe and he can't get through? That's sort of like bandwidth. So you can expand the bandwidth or spend more money on infrastructure and you can compress the files, but no matter what, you're depending on things to communicate through pipes to pipe to pipe to pipe all the way to antenna on a building to then communicate all the way across the country to the cloud, which is like the server, the digital secretary. It's needed. It's depending on the server to do all the things it needs to do. So an example is a charger turns on by you clicking start on your phone, that text gets sent all the way through the pipes of the internet to the server and back down. So oftentimes it gets clogged. And by often, I mean 54% of the time. And 95% of the reason it gets clogged is because of internet connectivity. So at Zeal, we weren't okay with this future. We're not gonna get to 100% electrification if charging stations don't work. And it needs to be a better experience than the gas fueling experience. So we took it upon ourselves and created a brand new connectivity protocol that's self-reliant, meaning the phone doesn't need service, the charger doesn't need service, and no IT dependence equals no downtime. So what, this, what does this mean for the driver experience? Well, first of all, it's very fun and frictionless. All you have to do is you create an account, you add your vehicle information, your payment, and the access code. Then once you register an account, you zap a digital fob to your phone from the cloud, and then you can turn your phone on airplane mode, and you just tap the charger. Now, when you tap the charger, you're sending your digital passport to the charger. And within milliseconds, the charger is sophisticated enough to read who you are and release the electrons, authenticate the sections, start charging your car, and you're out of there. Now, when you're done charging, it's the same exact experience. You just walk up to the charger, just like Apple Pay, you tap it, you get the receipt, and you're out of there. Very easy. Now, on the building owner side, you're cutting out the middleman. So by default, it's gonna be cheaper across the board. On the CapEx side, because there's no IT infrastructure, you're not drilling holes in the walls or adding Wi-Fi modems and cellular boosters, you're saving $10,000 per floor. That's an average on $20,000 per property across 100 properties. That's $2 million in CapEx savings. Now, because there's no IT infrastructure or network, there's no need to maintain that network. So there's no network costs. Think of like your data plan for your phone. It doesn't exist with us. It's at $0 in operating expenses, which equates to $3 million in savings across 100 properties. But the best part of all, because we have 100% uptime, we optimize the ESG impact. You're talking about 100 tons of CO2 reduce, reduction per property across all of your assets. That's the equivalent of 15 homes of annual electricity usage. So we brought this to market early this year. We're really excited to work with world-class real estate partners that don't just want to check the ESG box, but really want to accelerate the change. We've launched in 20 plus markets this year, really exciting properties. And if you do want to work with us, we're, ex we're expanding our partner program. We do all the heavy lifting for you. All it takes is a simple free site walk that we do. We send you a proposal, you sign off on it, and then we sh ship pre-connected charting stations that work right away. And they're installed within three to five business days, the quickest, easy install in the game. 
If you want to reach out, feel free to reach out at info at zoomg.com. Thank you.